Hey, what's up, guys? It's Salha here, and and this will be part three of the tutorial on modeling classic house in Revit. So let's get started. So in the first two parts, we have modeled this basic building, and now we will work on the details. So first, I will just cover up this part. So just go to level two and just select this wall and just click here to create similar and we will give the base offset around 10 feet and for the height just give it 3 feet and just draw some walls here like this now you can see we have our walls here so just select all these three walls so just click attach top or base here and then just select this roof and all the walls are now attached to the roof now just go to south elevation first we will change the visual style to shade it now select this wall and just go edit profile ok just ignore this and we will create an arc here so just select this pick lines tool and just click on the this curtain ball here now just split this line and use trim and extend to trim these extra lines and let's just delete this one and now you just use pick lines again and just select this line this roof edge and this one as well then just use trim and extend to trim these extra lines now finish finish edit mode and just click union elements and we have covered this part now you can see we have some gap here so we will fill this so just go to south elevation again now you have to change this to wireframe now just go to architecture and select model in place just look for the generic models here we have so just select this category and ok you can name it if you want I will just keep it as is now we will create an extrusion here so just select uh, select extrusion and once you click on this you will get this dialog so just select this pickup lane and ok just take your cursor to the wall and you can see this wall is highlighting so this face of the wall is highlighting so if it's not just hit tap key a couple of times you can see and then just click and the work plane is set to this wall face now just use peak lines again here we will not create arc again we will just give it we will just create some other design so I will just use this line tool from the center here now just we, now we will just mirror this so just select these two lines we will just mirror these two so just select mirror and just mirror it from the middle now split this line so just select split and use trim and extend to trim these two extra lines and this as well I just change the material so I will just name it wall so I will just type here wall now just finish 
and let's go to level 3 just use this handle to take this extrusion until this roof here until this door here and just go finish model and you can see we have created this extrusion it's going outside so just select this so go to the left view and just use this handle to take this back until the wall here now we will add fascia to this roof so first I will just change the thickness of this roof so just select this and just go edit type just go edit and I will make it 8 inches now we will create profile for fascia so just go file new and pro just select family here just look for the profile here we have this so just select this profile and open now just create the profile for fascia so i will just create some design here so i will give i will make it 8 inches so just take here 8 inches because this is the thickness of the roof So I have created this weird looking profile. Now just load it into our project. So first we better save it. Save as family. And let's just call it roof fascia. And just go save. First we just change it to one for the backup file. Save and now just now just load it into our project so just click load into project and just go to 3d and go to architecture roof no just just click here this little arrow here so just click and select roof fashion now go edit type let's just duplicate it let's call it roof fascia new or something okay and in the profile we have to select the one which we have just created so here we have this so just select and material let's change it to wall again okay now just take your cursor to the edge of this roof you can see it will create fascia you can see we have to take this profile down so we just go back to fascia family again and just select all these and just select all these lines and just use move to take this down here now just load load this family into a project just click override the existing version now just select this fascia again and just go create similar take this edge just click on this edge and this edge 
and this one and this maybe we have to take this down a bit so select this and just use arrow keys to take this down like this or you can just use align tool Just go here, modify to this face, this one to this face and Now just go to the level 3 and we will create some roof here. So just go to architecture, roof and just create a roof here like this and just select all and just click, just uncheck this defines slope and just go finish or we better just make it 4 feet only just give the base offset around 10 or 8 feet just go finish and go back to the south elevation just select this and move it here just use align tool to align this to the to this fascia here like this Now just mirror this roof, so just select and just mirror it from the center like this. And now use the fascia again, just go back to architecture, roof fascia and just create one here like this and one here and just go to the front view and just click on this and you will get this dot here so just extend this until here and do the same here also so just select this fascia and use this little dot here so just select this and extend it until this point now you can see we have created this also so just go to the roof again and select fascia and just place it here like this and on this shade as well so i forgot to create shade here on this window so I will just create now
now let's add the wall reveals so just go here and select reveal and go edit type first we will duplicate it and in the profile we will select one brick so just select here reveal brick reveal brick course one brick and ok first we will create only one then we will array so just create one here you can see if I take the cursor here to this wall it will automatically snap the previous one so just create here here now just go to the front view and just select this one you can see if I select only one sweep it will automatically select all the connected ones and now just select array from here and make sure to check this last and let's just array this from here until here and let's give it 30 reveals you can see some reveals are missing here so I will just create again so we have created all these wall sweeps and it's looking very nice now so I think that's it for this tutorial so please like share and subscribe and see you guys in the next video